ओके गुड मॉर्निंग टूडे वी विल डिस्कस कोऑर्डिनेट जोमेट्री टूडे विल डिस्कस कोऑर्डिनेट जोमेट्री क्लास नाइन ओके इन द लास्ट क्लास लास्ट टू डेज वी हैव डिस्कस पॉलिनोमियल्स इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट इन द लास्ट चैप्टर यू कैन आक्स नाउ विल स्टार्ट कोऑर्डिनेट जोमेट्री ऑल राइट नाउ कोऑर्डिनेट जोमेट्री before starting this let us you have, you have got uh, number line right in the number line in the number line red is zero on the right of zero 1 2 3 4 four like that it goes up to infinity in the left it will be minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 like this okay this is a number line okay in the number line this this is for x and this we can say x dash okay this you can say x negative side of x axis okay this is x this is x and negative side of x axis now in the number line another number line you take vertically another number line you take vertically okay vertically you take it as y middle one is zero and this is y dash y dash means negative side of y so here Above zero, above is positive. One, two, three, and below zero is minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, like this. Okay. So this two are number line. This is horizontal number line. This is vertical number line. Both you have got. Now, if the direction is two, whether whether you are going towards. Uh, 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 right or left or above or below okay above opposite of that this is one direction one direction one dimension all right this is called one dimension okay either you go forward or backward okay either you go above or below so this is one dimension now if we combine both the number lines this number line if you bring here this number line if you This is zero. If you bring it here, this number line, you bring it here. Okay, bring it here. This will be one, two, three. This will be minus one, minus two, minus three, minus. Okay, this two number lines if you combine, this number line if you bring it here, then you will get a Cartesian plane. You will get a Cartesian plane. Now. With the help of these two number lines, these two number lines, you can represent any point on the board. You can represent any point on the board. You can represent any point on the board. This number line we have shifted to origin. Now, now you say this point, this point is called origin. This point is called. origin this point is called origin and this is called this axis this axis is called x axis it is called x axis this axis x axis this axis is called x axis and this axis is called y y axis this is called y axis this is x axis horizontal axis is x axis vertical axis is y axis this is this we write as y and this we write as y dash y dash is infinity y is positive so above the number line above the origin is positive and right of the origin is positive left of the origin is negative and below the origin is negative is this clear is this point clear to all now after this uh <coughs> now you see with the help of this let me remove this now how we can represent how we can represent any point any point on the board on the plane any point on the plane 
with the help of this. Now you see, let us take this point. Okay, let us take this point. This point. Okay, this point is. You see, two. This is two unit away from x axis. This is two unit, right? This is two unit. Two unit. And here to here, this distance is how much? Three unit, right? It is two unit and this is three unit. Okay, so this point, this point can be named as, named as, this is 3 unit towards x axis, 3 unit towards x axis and 2 unit towards y axis. So, suppose we can name this as A. So, this point can be named as A to uh, 3 comma 2. This means, to go to this point, you have to, from the origin, you have to go 3 unit towards x axis and 2 unit towards y axis. Okay? 2, two unit along y axis. Okay? You have to go 3 unit along x axis and 2 unit along y axis. Is this clear? Similarly, similarly, suppose this point, this point, this point, okay. Now you see. To go to this point, what is the this point? This is called coordinate. This 3, 2 within bracket. The, the way of writing this is called coordinate of this point. This is called coordinate. Coordinate. This is called coordinate of this point. And in this coordinate, this is called x coordinate. This is called x coordinate and this is called y coordinate. This is called x coordinate. x coordinate. Or we can say this as or abscissa also. Abscissa. Abscissa. The first point that is the number the unit you go along x axis is called x coordinate or abscissa and this one is called y coordinate y coordinate this is called y coordinate or simply we say this as or ordinate we say this as ordinate so abscissa or ordinate First one is abscissa, second one is ordinate. First one is the x coordinate, the second one is y coordinate. And this together, this point 3, 2, this point is called coordinate. It's called coordinate. Coordinate means the point together, both together is called coordinate. Is this point clear to you? Now suppose this one. How to plot this point? 1, 2 unit towards x axis. This is x axis, right? So 2 unit along the negative side. So it is minus 2 along y axis. Uh, sorry, x axis. And along y axis, how many unit? 1 unit. So minus 2, comma 1. What is the axis here? Axis is minus 2. What is the ordinate here? Ordinate is 1. So can we say minus 2 as x coordinate? Yes. Minus 2 is minus 2 you can say as x coordinate or abscissa. And 1 is the y coordinate or ordinate. Okay. Let us take one more point here. Let us take one more point here. Nice. Let us take this point as C. We can name this points. Okay. So along the x-axis how many need? Minus 2. Along y, y axis, how many you need? Minus 3. This is the coordinate of this point. This is the coordinate of this point. Here, what is the x coordinate? Minus 2. What is the y coordinate? Minus 3. What is the axis? Axis or x coordinate is same. So, axis is minus 2. And what is the ordinate? Ordinate is minus 3. Is this clear or? Now, let us go to this piece and 
and C. Okay, let us take this point, this point, okay, from here to go, this along x-axis, let us take this as a B, along x-axis how many you need? 3, along y-axis minus 2, along y-axis it is minus 2, so coordinate of this point D is 3 comma minus 2, this is the point. This is, this represents a point, this point. This, we answer from date to make it distinct. But actual point is this one, okay? Okay, now, what is the x coordinate here? 3. What is the y coordinate? Minus 2, okay? What is the axis? Axis is 3. What is the ordinate? Minus 2. What is the coordinate of the point D? Coordinate of the point D is 3, comma minus 2. 2. Is this point clear to all? Now, the four parts, these two axes, x axis and y axis, divide the plane. So, any point like this, any point on the board can be represented like this with A, B, C, D, like this coordinates. We can represent. Okay, any point on the plane can be represented like this. Okay, now. Now let us see another point. This is x, this is x dash. Okay, negative side of x axis. This is y, this is y dash. We can have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Negative side minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. And here 1, 2, 3, 4 like that it goes. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 like this. Okay. Now, here this x-axis x axis and y-axis. These two axes divide the plane in four parts. Okay. This part is called first quadrant. This is called first quadrant. This is called first quadrant. And this is called second quadrant. And this is called third quadrant okay and this is called fourth quadrant in the first quadrant in the first quadrant there are four quadrants in the first quadrant in the previous in the previous example we have seen in the first quadrant both are positive both x x x coordinate and y coordinate both are positive in the second quadrant this is first quadrant this is second quadrant this is third quadrant this is fourth quadrant right so in second quadrant x coordinate is negative and positive y is positive in third quadrant both are negative in fourth quadrant x coordinate is positive y coordinate is negative okay so you can say here these two values are the coordinates are both are positive. Both are positive. Here the coordinates x coordinate is negative and y coordinate is positive. In third quadrant x coordinate is negative, y coordinate is also negative. And in the fourth quadrant x coordinate is positive, y coordinate is negative. Is this clear all of you? Okay. Then let us discuss once again. Let us recapitulate. This point is called what? This point is? This point is origin. Origin. This is x axis. 
okay and this is this is y axis what is the point of intersection of the two axes origin the horizontal line is called x axis the vertical line is called y axis x and y axis divide the plane in four quadrants 1 2 3 4 quadrants in the first quadrant x quadrant and y quadrant both are positive in second quadrant x quadrant is negative y is positive in third quadrant both are negative in fourth quadrant x is positive y is negative okay in the next next video we'll discuss how to plot okay thank you